Hello everyone, welcome to part 198 of advanced income series in Laravel 8. So we will continue working on Laravel charts, graphs and reports. Okay, so in last video we have seen that we able to integrate the uh, user's report, user chart. Uh, uh, we able to integrate and we have integrated the line chart for the users. And uh, see uh, this one I have already explained in last video. And in this video we are going to do for the orders we are going to add the chart for the orders and we are going to select uh, the uh, bar chart for the orders for for displaying the orders that are coming uh, in the current month uh, that are coming in the last month and last to last month okay so for three uh, to four months uh, for last four months we are going to display the orders in bar chart okay so let's see again we are going to use the canvas js so this is the website that we have used last time and this time also we are going to use the canvas js website for our charts graphs and reports okay so here i am going to select the php charts once again as our website is in laravel php framework so i am going to select this time column and bar charts and here i am going to select uh, uh, this column chart i am going to select okay so this is called the bar chart and this is called the column chart uh, in general we uh, we always call this kind of chart as the bar chart but this is actually the column chart okay so we are going to uh, integrate this column chart okay so in our uh, uh, in uh, for the orders so let's start uh, let's start making the route first step is to create the route like we have created for the users in last video so here also we are going to create the route for the orders charts okay so let's create the route uh, here i will write view order charts and here i'm going to add the get route sorry in get uh, i will make the name like view orders charts Okay, so here I'm going to add its function in orders controller and I'm going to add view orders charts. So this is the function I am going to add in the orders controller. So let's add this function in orders controller. So we are going to add this function at the last, okay, public function. order uh, view order charts okay like this so here also we want to check uh, the current uh, we want to check the current orders current month orders last month orders last to last month orders and the previous month orders okay last to last to last month order okay so for the last four months we are going to check out the orders it will tell us the traffic that how much traffic is coming into the website how much orders are getting placed in the website from month to month so that we can compare the last four months so that we uh, can come to know that uh, the website is going upward or downward about the ranking of the website about the traffic of the website okay so uh, it will uh, give the idea to the client that how the website is working okay so uh so we are going to first of all we'll create the blade file as well after that we will update this func uh, function return view admin in admin uh, under orders folder we are going to create one file view orders charts okay so this file we are going to create under orders folder okay view orders charts okay so this file is identical to that file that we have created last time okay uh, so let's open the folder uh, resources views let's uh, copy the uh, from the users view users charts okay see if you are watching this video if you have skipped the last video then do check the last video that will tell how to add the uh, uh, chart for the user how to add the line chart so that see we are not doing everything from scra scratch the code that we have already written we are going to use that code okay we are not going to recode again again uh, okay so 
uh, we are going to use this view user chart and going to make the changes in this one i'm going to put this one in orders folder and we'll rename this one to view orders charts okay like this one okay so uh, here i am going to make changes in this file i'm going to open here only okay so i'm going to make changes in this file but before that i'm going to update its function as well and this one also i can copy from the users controller and here you can see we have everything ready we can copy this one view user chart and we can paste this one here see it will uh, see like uh, this function is doing current month users before one month user before two month user we simply replace users with the orders okay see how fast the process is once we have done uh, one time then next time it will be really easy okay so current month orders before one month order before two month order before three months order okay so user we are going to replace with the order model okay now see uh, we are comparing with the creator at current year we are getting current month we are getting and we are count we are using count so we are checking the current month order before one month order we are checking the current year we are checking the uh, sub month one means we are checking the past month uh, that is the previous month we are going to check uh, its uh, count as well then uh, then last to last month okay means some month two uh, means we will minus with two uh, that the month that comes uh, two months ago okay so after that three months some month three okay so we are having the four month data here and we are using this uh, orders count uh, here okay so we can check once that what is coming here uh, to verify that the data is coming correctly so let's see how much count is coming every month print r now we are going to check dollar orders count let's see let's i'm going to open view orders chart here i'm going to replace users with orders like this okay we need to include the carbon uh, class at the top like we have included in users controller as well use carbon carbon sorry carbon carbon okay so let's refresh and see last two month this is the current month that is zero last month is also zero last to last month is seven and last to last to last month is nine so see first nine then seven then zero then zero it is decreasing okay so uh, website uh, orders is falling so uh, so let's uh, we are going to view this one in bar chart okay so uh, let's go down once again uh, to our function so it is working fine so we are going to uh, send this one we are going to remove this one this one is not required like this okay so now we can update uh, in our view order chart this one we can remove view order chart here okay so here now instead of users count we are getting the orders count here you can check out that we are using the orders count instead of users count so we are going to replace uh, here orders count and and see all the month all four months we are getting here okay uh, same like uh, we are we have done with the user chart and here we will write here uh, orders report and uh, here also orders report so let's see the output refresh it see it is falling like i have uh, told you like uh, uh, first it is nine in june then seven in july then zero in august then again zero in september see it is falling uh, so uh, like if we will place one order this month then it will come here like this one so let's see it let's place one order uh, so that we can uh, come to know the graph in real time this chart in real time that it is updating or not so let's create one order i am going to uh, use that uh, 
email amit hundred at the rate of view of mail dot com one two three four five six any so let's add casual t shirt one add to cart we can disable this one this one is irritating so we can disable this is for the user and we can disable in front footer we can disable it from here check now uh, I'm going to place this UOD order let's place uh, okay it is asking to add the address is not there so I'm going to add the address here let's see India and here pin code pin code we are going to add Submit. So now we can select and we will place the COD order, place order. As it is sending email, so it will take few seconds. So now we are going to refresh and there must be graph. See, one has come in September. Okay, this is the month of September 2021. So we have seen it how the graph update. So when we will create one more it keeps on updating like this okay so our graph is updating real time uh, that whenever any order will come it will keep updating here okay so it looks perfect so we can use this uh, uh, this bar graph this actually this is the uh, column chart column chart we are going to use we can use for the orders okay and uh, you can try this one uh, also we will add here in orders uh, we are going to add the link here uh, so that it will be easier to assess we are going to add orders.blade.php okay Oh, sorry uh, we want to integrate this one so so uh, we have not integrated this one we have integrated the line chart okay so it just come in my mind so we are going to replace it with this uh, uh, bar chart uh, so let's do it uh, so uh, let's see that where we need to change uh i don't think that everything we are required to change only few things we are required to change so uh, see here uh this first one remain the same uh okay fine and after that uh this one uh we are going to check its script uh script is here so chart container title and this one uh, type is column okay so this one seems to be changed we need to change this one let's see here animator okay this one also required to change so we are going to change this complete script okay so here I am going to update this one complete script and will replace orders report from gold reserves okay so I am going to replace it one by one uh, and number of orders I'm going to replace with uh, gold reserves in tons this one I'm going to replace okay so uh, rest everything uh, we will keep it like this for now and earlier script I'm going to remove this one fine and now anything else we are required to update let's see uh, this one uh, will remain the same I think and div ID uh, we are going to check the uh, chart container ID that uh, will remain the same I think yeah that also remain the same so let's save it and let's check if we have able to update it or not 
so now we have converted it to uh, that uh, bar chart uh, not exactly bar chart it, it is a column chart okay so see how easily we able to update this one see results are same you can also use that line chart if you want and you can also use this bar chart see nine tons here uh, we are going to replace the tons with the orders okay so we are going to replace these tons with orders like this refresh okay so now see nine orders seven orders uh, one orders okay one order is september august is don't have any order july is seven orders and june's nine orders okay so it is working fine now and this is the column chart for you okay part of the bar chart we can say uh, so uh, we can use we can update any chart like this like i have updated right now you can even select any other chart and you can replace it with that chart like bar chart or anything else uh, we can easily able to update just you need to open this one and you need to update the values like it's given here okay and after that it's going to update okay so uh, these values you are going to use this exactly this script you need to replace uh, okay so after replacing the script here title you uh, you will update this one title this title you are going to update and uh, and few more things you can update and it will work fine okay you can try this at your end okay and if you will uh, have any trouble where well, then uh, i'm going to help you okay so uh, we will try a few more charts and graphs in next video so stay tuned for that so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye